good. How are you, Tim? Doing all right. So I, I, I don't know that we need to have a long discussion. I just, I've, I've seen this show for a while. Obviously, you've been around a while. I don't understand the point. That's 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 my only thing. I don't get the point. It's like I don't believe in Santa Claus, but I don't go around shaking children saying there's no Santa Claus. If if somebody gets some kind of hope or strength from believing in a higher power, why go on and start a TV show saying there's no damn Santa Claus? Don't be happy. Don't have hope. Don't believe in what you believe in. I, I, I just, it loses me. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying don't have hope, don't be happy. Uh, but the people who believe in Santa Claus aren't trying to take away the rights and freedoms of other people, and they're not trying to legislate their beliefs onto everybody else. That's the problem. They're not out starting wars with the people who don't believe in Santa Claus or who have a different belief in Santa Claus. It's not a political thing. Within the ACA, there are people of all sorts of of political beliefs. There are Republicans, Democrats, Libertarians, Independents. There are people who are pro choice. Um, there are so the thing is that we have um, intelligent discussions and one of the things that we agree, we only have to agree on one thing and that is that we don't actually believe in God. That's the only requirement for membership. Uh, it turns out we agree on a lot of other things and that is that we agree and evidence of people to try to impose their religious beliefs on others is wrong. I promote reason, skepticism, evidence, logic, science. I have no, yeah, I'm evangelical when it comes to those things. I have no problem with that at all. Right, but you don't think those are good same things? thing is somebody who's trying to shove Jesus down somebody else's throat. I, I'm not trying to legislate that people exercise reason. I would never make religion illegal. Um, I would never, I, I'm a huge fan of the First Amendment that guarantees that everyone has a freedom of religion and a freedom of expression. That's, that, that's not an issue. I'm not, I'm not doing that at all. It, it just seems somewhat hypocritical from what, what I'm saying. Like I said, if somebody is, if, if, if you're challenging, if you're going against the people who get up on the pulpit and preach Jesus, and you're doing the same thing on the opposite side, it seems somewhat hypocritical, except you think you're better because you don't believe in God. Well, no, uh, but... Did I say that? No. Okay. No, you, you didn't ever say that. In fact, we've never said that on this show. I might say it, depending but, on how you want to define that. <laughs> but I, well, one of the things that we have talked about, in fact, just a few minutes ago, is that sometimes religious beliefs are not benign. It's not a matter of hope or, or you know, being happy or anything. Sometimes religious beliefs are actively harmful. Mm -hmm. it, it, let's say let's say there's somebody who believes. Sure, but then on the, uh, uh, not to use the phrase on the other side of the coin again, but I'm going to say on the other side of the coin again, extreme beliefs in Satanism or what some would say would be the opposite uh, can be equally harmful. I, I mean, I'm I'm opposed to that as well. That's still a religious belief. It's still yeah, a supernatural it's... belief. It's still unjustified by reason. Let me ask you: If there's a parent, which there have been several in the last year that we've had to comment. Um, who decided not to get their child medical treatment and pray instead. Do you have a problem with that? Uh, well, you know, that's, a, that's one of those things where it's hard to watch. You see these shows that are on, say, National Geographic or on um, uh, Science or on, uh, some of the other channels where they talk about third world beliefs and how they cut up their no. kids. No, no, no. No, no, we're not talking about third world beliefs. No, no, no. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm just saying as a matter of faith, they do certain things that I would obviously no, object No, no. We're, we're not talking about third world beliefs. We're talking about people in the United States who have access to medical care that would save their child's life and they reject it in favor of prayer. Do you have a problem with that? Again, I'm using this extreme example of people who have a belief that what they're doing for their child is right. I don't know that I necessarily have a, a I, I don't necessarily that I could say that I could take someone to task for doing what they believe in. Okay. Well, well I can. I can. I, and I have, and I will continue to. The thing is, is that you may look at it as hypocritical of me attacking them, but the fact of the matter is that there have been several times in the last year where parents 
have killed their kids for not by not seeking medical attention to solve. That's an exception, not the rule. It's not like everybody. Does it doesn't matter. It doesn't God. matter if it's the if exception. Kids die. I think it would be more of of a challenge to take up against people who are abusing their children outright, which there's a lot more numbers of that, I would think. And I guess we could go to Google to find some statistics. I would think there would be more kids getting abused, kidnapped, and and murdered that are not in the name of God and not just refusing medical treatment. So what? I, I'm opposed to that too. I'm talking about a particular problem, and that is people who believe things without good evidence make bad decisions that can harm and kill other people. And I think, you, hang on, hang on, you can call me hypocritical for voicing an opposition to that, but I think anybody who wouldn't voice an opposition to that is immoral. Yes, I agree. And I'm happy to voice opposition to irrational and dangerous beliefs. And the problem is, is that so many of those irrational and dangerous beliefs are pawned off on a daily basis as innocuous, hopeful, good feeling, does no harm religion. And that's not the case. Every second that people spend wasting believing something that's not true, instead of trying to find out whether it is true, trying to find out as best they can, a good understanding of reality to help them make decisions, that's a moment wasted. But don't you think if somebody is, is goofy enough, crazy enough to believe that uh, Jesus is going to save my kids so I don't need to bring them to the hospital, do you really think that they're not warped in the other areas? That are yes, going that's to the point. I think kids? they are. I yeah. think if you just take God out of the picture of that one person, that one adult's uh, life, that all of a sudden they're going to be a good parent? No. I, I think that they're warped in other ways. I'm talking about ending uh, this this superstition across the board. Because but it's, it's still not religious. That it's not the, the, the religion or the belief in a higher power or God that's making them a crazy person. If you, it's not making them crazy. It's, like but it is dictate, and it's not making them crazy, but it's dictating that action. If you don't believe in a God, if you don't believe that a God can answer prayer and heal your kid, then you don't have that as an option, and you can't possibly use that as an excuse. It's like a drug addict who's been stashing things all around the house. If, I, if, if we're going to help clean them up, we need to find all the stashes, and we need to find all the problem areas. I'm not, I'm not preaching any sort of panacea cure-all, although I'm pretty much convinced that the world would be a much better place if religion were completely gone. I said I wouldn't ever make a law to prohibit it, and I wouldn't. Everybody has to follow the dictates of their own conscience, but that has to be metered by its effect on other individuals, effect on society as a whole, and that's what I'm, I'm moving towards or trying to move towards is offering people, I was a fundamentalist Christian for 20 some odd years and was studying to be a, a preacher. Uh, I'm trying to give people some of the same information that helped me realize that my beliefs were unjustified. Um, and you know, yes, it's not always going to cause great harm, but sometimes it does. And taking somebody's belief in God away, which is something you can't do, it's not like I can steal their God belief away. They give it up. Um, the point is to have people give it up for really good, rational reasons. It's not just a, oh, I'm mad at God. Oh, I'm sick and tired of, you know, donating 15, 20 percent of my salary to the church. You know, oh, I'd really rather go out and have lots of sex and drink, but my religion says I can't, so the hell with that. Um, oh, I don't want to be a Catholic anymore because they're against birth control. That's not it. Coming up with a rational worldview a good way to make decisions. If somebody abandons religion on those grounds, then I'm all for it. And I think that the world will be a better place for it. We may never find out, um, but it's, I, I, I don't see, I mean, I understand that, you know, from the point of view of some people, oh, they're just like those religious people. They're preaching their point of view. No, um, it's not quite the same. And in a conflict, the truth doesn't necessarily lie halfway between. One side can just be right or wrong. 